Nock is the attacker that has the highest win rate at this moment in Siege. I'm not surprised she's also the most bad attacker in Pro League by far, because she's an extremely strong character. Today, I'll show you how you can best play her, what she works really well against, and I'll show you how to counter her in your ranked games. Let's start off with her loadout, and this has a reason why she recently saw such an incline in her pick and win rate. She has the FMG9 as a main gun, and with suppressors no longer having a damage penalty, it's it's a great addition to her gadget. The other option is the same shotgun as Legion and Ying have, but let's be honest, this might be the worst shotgun in the game. As a secondary, you can pick between the 5.7 USG or the Deagle. She's got three options for secondary gadgets, and they're all great. Nock is one of the four remaining attackers that have access to frag grenades, or you can pick two heart breachers or two impact EMPs. All very useful utility, and you can pick what suits the upcoming round the best. So how does her gadget, the Hell Presence Reduction, work. When Nook activates the gadget, she won't be visible on cameras for 12 seconds maximum. That's how long the gadget lasts. You can deactivate the gadget anywhere in these 12 seconds. The longest it can take for the gadget to fully recharge is 6 seconds. You can also activate the gadget when the bar isn't completely full. So she's invisible on cameras, but that's not the only thing. If she's got the gadget activated, walking makes less noise, and slow walking or crouching has no movement noise. As soon as she starts sprinting, you will be audible, but you'll keep the other benefits of the gadget. There are some limitations to it though. Walking through a barbed wire will show some glitches on screen if a defender is looking at you through a camera. The same goes for when she takes damage, shoots, or melees barricades, or actions such as pulling out a grenade. You will know when you're visible as knock due to the yellow interferences on your screen. Another thing that was peculiar is that when you reload or switch guns, you don't see any yellow indicator, but when testing this, it did make a sound. When the gadget is activated, you can see what cameras you're hidden from due to them emitting a white light. So how are you supposed to play Nook? What makes her such a great attacker? What we're seeing a lot right now in the Siege meta and also in competitive play is that the majority of a team pushes one side of the map and then you have this Lurk player at the other side of the map. Catching rumors of guard, creating space for themselves, working with nades from underneath, or just being a threat that defenders have to deal with where they might end up getting distracted. Well, that's a task that is perfect for Nook. She can really create chaos from the opposite side of where the rest of the team is pushing from, mainly due to her gadget, making her unpredictable and giving her that surprise factor. Nock works really well to do these solo pushes and even in the final parts of the round where you can catch all defenders off guard by pushing them from behind. And what does her gadget work really well against? Well, there's quite a few things. And even when I was playtesting myself, some things really surprised me. If you're shooting an alibi prisma or walking through one with the gadget activated, you won't get detected. However, if you shoot at the prisma without the gadget activated, you can't counter that ping by turning on the gadget. You will still be spotted. Now, this is one that can be super strong in your ranked games. Did you know that as knock, when you're planting whilst your gadget is on, you will only have the the glitch effect shown to the enemy on chems. Now, as an echo, this might be really difficult to spot out on your yokai drone, and you might just miss the plant from going down. Of course, you can still stun her off the plant if you time that right with your yokai. On a maestro evil eye, you're also not visible. The same goes for your Valkyrie camera. You can still do damage to the knock on an evil eye, but it will be difficult to find her if she's not planting, running, or performing any other action that will trigger the glitch effect. With a mozzie captured drone, you can't see Nock either when she's got her gadget on. And we know how a lot of gadgets are counted by Mooch Jammer, but that's not the case for Nock's Hell Presence Reduction. She can still use it in the proximity of a Mooch Jammer. And also a bulletproof camera can't disable her gadget with the zap. Other than that, it works the same way as any other camera because you can't spot Nock on a bulletproof camera when her gadget is activated. 
you've made it about halfway into the video, which means you must be liking the content. I'm trying to reach 15,000 YouTube subs, so I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Let's continue with some really good counters for when you find knock in your own games. This is, in my opinion, maybe even the most powerful one. Thorin works really well against a knock because when I was testing this, I wouldn't get the indicator that I was in the proximity of a Thorin Razor Bloom shell that was about to detonate. This caused me to die quite some times when testing it. With Capkin's EDD, you will do damage to knock when she's got her gadget on. It'll also help you to show where she is because you can see the explosion on camera. The same goes for Legion's goo mines. You will see when a goo mine is stepped on by Nuck. However, you will not see her glitch when she takes damage from it or when she takes out the goo mine. With Malusi's Banshee, all effects are still working when Nuck activates her gadget in the proximity of the Banshee. Nuck will be slowed down, and if she shoots the Banshee, the glitch effect will appear on screen. Also, with Pulse's Cardiac Sensor, you can still see Nuck on your camera when she's activated her gadget. Ella doesn't work that well again. Snuck. You can see that all of a sudden the Grismot disappears, but it won't do anything to Nuck's gadget, nor will it make her appear on cams with the glitch effect. A proximity alarm will still make the noise when Nuck steps into the radius with her gadget activated. Again, when she shoots it, the glitch effect will appear on the screen if you're spectating cams. And as I mentioned before, Nuck is currently by far the most bad attacker in Pro League. However, there are some players in EOL that play Nuck really well if you're looking to get some inspiration. A few players that are worth watching are Skitty from Navi, showing that here with a clutch against Eminem. Tyrant from Eminem, and Leakifak from BDS. And what I specifically like about him is how he creates so much pace for his team as a knock on the opposite side of the map as to where his team is playing. This creates a lot of chaos. And of course, come it, crying from Rogue. He's definitely showed during the Berlin Major that he's a really good knock player. This concludes my guide to playing knock. And with all these tips and tricks, you will be the next greatest knock player. If you like this video, please remember to like the video and leave a comment. It's insane how much this will help boost the video with recommendations. Thank you so much for your support. Consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this, because we are well on the way towards 15,000 YouTube subs. Maybe you'd even like these 15 easy siege tips or this frost guide. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.